Hi there, my amazing manifestors. Today's video is going to be a quick um, update on how to actually do a proper salt water cure and where to place it for this year. And we should have those in place as soon as possible and change them as they get crusted. I throw them right in the garbage. Don't even touch the container. Number one rule. So either wear a glove or um, paper towel or something to grab the container. As you can see on the screen, we are just using a regular glass jar, clean and dry, and some regular salt. You can use um, any kind of salt that you have on hand that works for you. And six copper coins. If you don't have the feng shui, real feng shui coins, let me state that, then you can use six copper pennies, as you see I am using on the screen. So what we do is we take our salt, we fill up the bottle almost to the top, all right, leaving some room, of course, and then you place your six pennies on top of the salt, just like um, you see in the picture that I provided. And after you do that, you get some water and you just pour um, water on top of your salt until it just covers it and there's a little bit extra. All right. So the first thing we want to do after we do that is we want to find a very safe place to put that salt for this year. It's going to be that spot for the remainder of the year. So what we're looking at here for 2022 is we need to keep clear the center of every home and building. So your office, your RV, your house, your apartment, whatever that is. And underneath your container, put something there. So if the salt does spill over um, when it's drawing in the negative energy, that it won't ruin the surface that is underneath it. It may be your floor, your shelf, a table, you know, a dresser. We don't want to ruin that at all. Um, in the center of your house, um, there should be no red, orange, purple, all right? Um, no noise, no construction, no fire elements, no triangles, and definitely no crystals, no candles, okay? Um, because what's coming in in the earth element is the center, is another earth element, okay? And it is the um, number five star, and it is the most feared star in feng shui because it brings a lot of negative things into people's lives, and we want to calm that down. We don't want to add any earth to the earth that's coming in. We want to calm it down. You can calm it down also by using metal element, right? A big metal cure, all right? The salt water cure that we are using is very simple. Now, I myself have placed salt water cures throughout my home, and I'm keeping an eye on them. All right, one is in the west, where there is a negative star as well. I have one in the southwest. I have one in the um, south right now, and I am watching them. All right, and the one in the west has been there for two days, and it already started to draw in the negative energy, and it's crusting already. So that shows me where negative energy really is, and then I will go and clean it to clutter that area big time, um, rearrange things, um, and do another salt water cure, definitely. So you want to keep an eye on your salt water cures. You want to keep them away from pets and small children, and also where they may be kicked over. So a lot of people um, may place them on the floor in the center of their home. You may need to and um, in that area, depending on what is going on in your life. Now, November was just um, mm, a glitch of what we will be seeing in our lives throughout this year. So we really want to pay attention to what you were dealing with in November. If it was a hard time for you, sickness or, you know, a loss or something, um, a fighting, you know, backstabbing, 
you know, um, anything like that going on in your life, then you really want to remedy that center. Um, you may have to measure out your house, find out, you know, where it's really located because we want to pinpoint the center. A lot of people's center of the home may be a hallway, right? And if it's a hallway, we want to make sure that the container is not going to get you know, kicked over as people are walking through. Do not spend a lot of time in the center of your house. Um, the best you can, you know, keep it very quiet there. Also, um, you know, pay attention to what's going on in your atmosphere. Declutter your house. Give it a good, you know, cleaning. Um, and notice what is going on in your life. Take a note of it. What area of your life um, is not working right for you? So that there, you can contact me and we will, you know, deal with that. We'll bring the remedy for that. So you can always contact me with ease. I've been working on my new Audible Angels channel. You can check that out, sign up. And um, when I do my weekly calls, you can be a part of that. Also, um, when I invite uh, special guest speakers, you know, you will have access to those calls. And they're all free. And um, this, this is a free video, of course. So I really would like to hear from you how um, these videos are helping you. I have a new um, YouTube channel as well. It's just Audible Angels. I'm trying to grow and expand the energy. So if you would like to support me in that, uh, subscribe here, uh, share the videos, and also, you know, jump on with me um, on my telesummits that I'm on. I'm going to be on this Thursday coming up with Monset. Um, if you're not signed up for your um, Divine Uniqueness, you can do that with ease and come on the call with me. And then I'm going on with Alara uh, January um, 12th. And we're going to be doing a lot of clearings on these calls. So you really want to be a part of that. Um, if you need those links, you know, contact me. You can email me easily. The info is right underneath this video. All right. So thank you. And um, let me know how these videos are you know helping and supporting you because i want you to have an easy breezy way to you know remedy um those issues in in your home and your office buildings okay so thank you so much i'll talk to you soon namaste everyone